I asked our daughter to take paternity test to prove wife's cheating. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. My wife and I are finally going through a divorce after living separated for almost 4 years. We didn't do this sooner because we both separated our finances and co-parented amicably and didn't want to waste the money. We originally separated after I confronted her on multiple affairs, but I wasn't mad, just happy to be done with it. Our daughter, who is 16 years old, was not phased too much by the transition at first because we tried to make it as easy as possible for her. However, just 2 months after I moved out, my wife moved a boyfriend into our house and made our daughter very uncomfortable, so she decided to live with me the majority of the time instead. Wife has since been very irresponsible about bringing men around daughter. When the pandemic hit my business boomed while my wife lost her job and had to start working at a grocery store instead. Wife decided to finally file for divorce and take me for what I was worth as I was now making way more than her. I'm not going to lie, things went from mediation to a hostile divorce very quickly when she requested more custody and money than I thought she was entitled to. Ultimately, the wife was unwilling to admit to her affairs and I threatened to get a paternity test for our daughter to prove her infidelity. I had suspicions before about the paternity of my daughter, but never acted on them because I didn't want to lose her. Well, this was a big mistake because this caused my wife to reveal to daughter that she was an affair baby. Moreover, she told our daughter that if I found out that she was an affair baby, then I would do unspeakable things to her. Wife told our daughter all this to try to get her out of my home and drive a wedge in a relationship. This has caused my daughter to be distant to me and paranoid and emotionally a wreck for months and I didn't know why. After talking to my lawyer and getting assurance my parental rights would not be affected by a paternity test I decided to ask my daughter to take it. I sat her down and explained it was just to prove her mom's infidelity and that she was still my daughter. Unfortunately, before I could tell her much of anything she had a full-on panic attack and locked herself in her room. Eventually her favorite aunt, my sister, came to pick her up and now she is living with her family. My aunt is the one who informed me of the things my wife said. Daughter and I have been going to counseling and my daughter plans to come to live with me again. Court also ordered the wife not to contact daughter and my lawyer thinks we will do well. But my sister thinks I'm an asshole for asking my daughter for the test. But the time to prove my wife's infidelity was running out and I thought my relationship with my daughter was stronger than just genetics. Daughter and I never took the test, but I was able to prove infidelity in other ways. Am I the asshole for asking my emotionally fragile daughter for a paternity test? Here are the some of the best comments from our community. Sheesh mom in this case is the asshole for being so heartless. You're a kind of not the asshole. Your ex is a gold digger to boot. She planned to take him to the cleaners but the infidelity clause got in her way. People are acting like this is a totally reasonable thing to do and like, I'm 25 and would be heartbroken if my dad implied I wasn't his. It doesn't matter how fragile the girl is, that's shitty regardless. You raised her for 16 years. According to Oopi started making major money just as the wife was laid off slash got her hours cut. She wants to take him to the cleaners but if he can prove that she was unfaithful, he won't have to pay her alimony, or maybe less? It's unclear. Wife wouldn't admit to her infidelity but a paternity test would prove that the daughter wasn't his. Conveniently he was able to prove infidelity after all without a DNA test. Yeah it's a load of BS. I think it's about money, he thinks he won't owe his ex as much if he can prove she cheated. The daughter is just a pawn in the whole thing, not his end game. Sophie's choice for that girl. Either live with her psychotic dad who traumatized and used her, or her psychotic mom who traumatized and used her. Who to pick, who to pick. Here is the second story. I took part on cheating with someone engaged. This one is a real shitstorm. For clarification I'm a female lesbian. I went away for a hen's weekend with some women, and the whole ride there one of them, let's call her Ashley complained about her fiancé the whole bus ride there. She told us about the fact that their relationship is pretty much non-existent, that they haven't slept in the same bed for a year, that if they do anything sexual she cries afterwards, but she's scared to leave him because she has in the past, and he kicked her and their two young sons out, under the age of five. Many 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 drinks later, the bride mentioned my sexuality, and the others, to which Ashley mentioned she had never been with a woman before but would try it. The drunker she got, the more flirtatious she got. At the end of a lot of bar hopping, once we all got back to the hotel Ashley and I did the deed. She now thinks that maybe she isn't straight. The day after she is still flirty and giddy about what happened, I think we were all still drunk. Keeps bringing it up etc, 
and the day after we get home she messages me and admits she has feelings for me. Now, I've been cheated on twice before, and I hate cheaters. I've also never slept with someone who I'm not in a relationship with before, it's a personal, moral choice of mine. I told her nothing is happening between us while she is with her fiancé. I have caught some feelings for her, but deep down I know I could never trust her. She tells me they have broken up many times in the past, that her family hates him and she is only with him for the kid's sake. We have met up to talk about what the hell we are going to do, but the whole time she just whines about her fiancé. I think I may have just been used as an outing, as an escape. I have mentioned to her that we should just cut ties completely, but she refuses. If anything she says she wants to stay friends. With the wedding coming up soon, with both of us being in the bridal party, I have to keep things civil for the bride's sake, yeah she knows what has happened. As I write this, I feel guilt, shame, scared that I've become someone I hate, betrayed, used and all the rest. Has anyone else been in a similar situation? How did you cope? Here are the some of the best comments from our community. Sounds Kike you were used by her for an exit affair. And the bridal party encouraged it? Yikes. Sounds like you need to reconsider your friends too. Well you are just as much if not more of a poss as the woman you helped cheat. If you are not planning on telling her partner, why are you posting this? Does it stroke your ego to know you ruined a marriage before it even began? You knew she was in a relationship, happy or not, and still slept with her. I'd neither trust her nor you tbh. Perhaps reach out to this woman's fiancé. See if he actually is how she says he is. She comes off as a me 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 type person. For someone who has been in his shoes you should tell him of the affair. It seems like the only path that would lead you back towards your moral high ground. I really think what you did was disgusting and you sure don't have your head on straight when it comes to a highly manipulative woman but your remorse at your actions and your attempt to rectify this moral failing says that you are a good person inside. I do believe that you are honestly guilty so please be as proud of the really good person you are rather than this terrible choice you made. Good luck and forgive yourself. Don't be concerned about her kids, it is not your problem at hers. You see it yourself and say it in your post, the simple fact is you've been used to an exit affair or some mind game she's playing with her fiancé. I see in your past post you are months out from a bad relationship so you might not be thinking straight but she is not a good person. You don't know she lies, cheats and uses people so I don't understand why you're even entertaining the idea of a relationship with her. Since you have to be civil with her for the wedding it's best you just end it now and don't talk or hang out at the wedding and tell her not to contact me anymore. I'm curious to see if she actually ends up bringing her fiancé to the wedding as well. I would like to say, it sucks when you find yourself in that situation. But enjoy your friend slash cousin's wedding. Don't let this sully what should be a good experience. Don't fret over what has occurred, just from the cursory explanation and description of this other couple paints a very dismal picture of both of them. They aren't engaged, they're doing time, nothing more. The guilt you feel only goes to show you are a good human being. Cheers to being you. Whatever you do about it, no matter how you handle it, please never change. This world needs more people like you. Those who feel they are goid rarely are in my experience, and those who are rarely confident in their goodness. The endless questioning of their quality is what drives their improvement, and ultimately makes them better. Take that event for what it is, a learning experience that can guide you towards further personal improvement and stop beating yourself over it. If you were a bad human you wouldn't be here asking strangers for their thoughts, would you? Good luck to you, stay strong. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.